So there's lots of companies that are involved in this fight for clean water. One of the companies that's on the forefront of the battle is Hell's Bay Boat Works. And we had a chance to swing by and talk to the owner, Chris Peterson. He's gonna give us a view of what's happening on the state level. I'm Chris Peterson, president of Hell's Bay Boat Works, and I've also been appointed by the governor to the St. Johns River Water Management District. Hell's Bay Boat Works is here in Titusville, Florida. We're right on the uh, edge and uh, the middle of the Indian River and just a quick shot to the uh, Mosquito Lagoon. You know, this world famous body of water, the Indian River, Mosquito Lagoon, um, <sighs> we're losing seagrass. Uh, the seagrass is a good symptom of, of, of the health of the system. And really the reason we're losing that seagrass is because we've got too much uh, pollutants, but it's really nitrogen and phosphorus in our water, which causes algae blooms. Those algae blooms, therefore, keep light away from that grass. And that stuff is really coming from people, more people. And people have been living here, you know, in earnest uh, civilization for about 100 years. So we've spent 100 years of adding pollutants to the system mostly through sewers and runoff of agricultural and just yards and fertilizer. And we're fertilizing the lagoon to a point that it's, it's over fertilizing. You know, you think back a hundred years ago, we have a couple settlers showing up here. They could put outhouses right up next to the lagoon and it didn't affect it. The system could handle uh, that amount of, of, of sewer and, and human living. But over the last hundred years, we've re-diverted uh, uh, water from over near the St. Johns River into the Indian River Lagoon system. And with it, it brings lots of uh, agricultural and, and uh, uh, residential runoff from, from fertilizer. And we've also got a lot of septic tanks. So what we've got to do now is we've got to convert a lot of those septic tanks to sewer. Back in the day, a couple of septic tanks, the system could handle that. But we can't handle all the population that has been coming to surround the Indian River uh, everybody loves coming to Florida. It's a great place to be. But now we have to plan for those people and plan on how we're going to remove our waste. So I believe that one of the things that makes Florida unique is the fact that is our water. We have great weather, but so does Arizona. So does some other places you know, in this country. And people are moving there, but people are really moving here because of our water and our, and our water quality. And live on the water, recreate in the water. Um, and we all want healthy water to do that. Uh, without healthy water, everything from hotels, beaches, the, uh, the realtors, the housing market itself, and the recreational market, fishing, or just hanging out in the water at a sandbar on Saturday is, is affected by our water quality. Because if we don't have good water, we don't have good fishing. If we don't have good fishing, you don't need my fishing boat. Today, what we can do, we're, 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 we need to dig out of a hole. Uh, we've got legacy nutrients as the nitrogen and phosphorus cycle, um, it never really leaves our system once it's gotten in. So we've got to remove it. We've got to do um, muck removals. There's a lot of muck. That is, uh, you know, dead plant material that grew that because it was so healthy off of some of this, all this fertilizer that's getting in the system, but it goes and it remains in the system as nitrogen and phosphorus. So we need to spend a lot of money. We need to dig out of this hole. We've been coasting along, not doing much for 100 years. And over the last five to 10 years, we've started to see a real change in the water quality. And I think we, the people, have finally woken up and said, look, we need to do something about it. So our legislature, we can't do it by ourselves. You and I can't do it. What you and I can do is we can really pay attention to the amount of fertilization we're putting on our yards. And then we can encourage our legislators and city officials to help us all collectively do the right thing and spend the money to remove the legacy nutrients, convert the, the septic tanks to sewer, um, and in general work on the seagrass issues. And all of that takes money and, we, and it's not enough for just you and I to donate to somewhere to get it. We need government to come in and help us do that.